Okay, YouTube, I just want to do an update on my rain barrel tanks that I installed on the house. I'll try and keep this video as short as possible. Um, I'll start over here with the uh, east trough and the plumbing that I put in. Um, you can see I just connected it through the uh, regular downspout there. I had to put a square pipe into a round hole, so I don't know, I just squeezed it and filled, uh, filled the edges with silicone there and uh, seems to work pretty good. No leaks or anything like that. You can see I have a, a second pipe coming out the top there for the side and that basically is to uh, uh, you know later when I want to hook up the front east trough to the system I can come down the wall and, and just plumb it into that into that uh, elbow right there so for now I'm not really using it but uh, you know I've got about 30 feet of east trough coming down the back of the house so I get quite a bit of water. This is the first flush system and basically the water comes down here and I can unscrew the cap and all the rocks and debris are all going to fall into uh, into this pipe first and because uh, you know the first rain that comes off the top of the house is usually the dirtiest water and, and all the crap that's in the east trough so it all falls down here and then once it fills up it has no choice but to carry on down this pipe and uh, this is just three inch PVC I came down here came down to a T split it off to uh, to both tanks you can see it joins over here and I just put a, an end cap on here. You can see I've got like, I've used pantyhose as a filter uh, on, the, on the bottom here just to keep some of the debris and the junk off the roof out. In the top of the east trough there, I've, I've gone ahead and put a screen mesh and siliconed it around the top on the inside of the east trough just to keep everything from getting in there and I just have to keep an eye on that to make sure it stays clean. Um, basically what happens is once the tanks are filled up, it goes through this overflow. Um, it goes down here and then it converts into a two inch PVC. It goes down underneath these stairs and uh, anything that's extra will flow into that fish pond because it always needs water. I just basically put an elbow and a 90 with a screen and a zip tie and you can see there's a hole in between the rocks that just falls right into the pond. So all the extra water goes in there. Um, these are two 330 gallon tanks. You can see that they're just over half full right now and uh, that's quite a bit of water. And basically down here I have my connections, just some rubber bushings, some washing machine hoses on each side. It comes down here into this Y splitter. So both tanks basically feed into this one, go into the splitter, and you can see that hose there going underneath the tank. And that there uh, basically runs underneath my deck to the other side. Let me just show you over here comes down here, comes down out of this side of the deck, you can see the hose coming out there, and inside this box is my pump. I just keep that recycling bin over top of it to keep the water off of it. Basically there's the pump, it's all wired in, and uh, I keep this in there, keep the water off. I took the screws off the took the screws out of the bin just for this video purposes and then basically comes out of the out of the pump box goes over here into 50 feet of garden hose I just have the end hanging up there um, that pump is 12 volts so I put a switch up here for the pump and the wire the 12 volt wire runs underneath the lawn and goes up into the shed see on the corner of the shed you can just catch the corner of that 40 watt solar panel that solar panel then comes inside and you can see right now it's a cloudy day it's actually raining a little bit there's only putting out about a half an amp into my battery bank which is at 13.19 and that 12 volt pump that I was just showing you runs off these two 6 volt deep cycle 232 amp hour batteries which are always charged because that solar panel is uh, more than sufficient for what I use it for. So basically, the electricity for that pump. Yeah, don't don't worry about my my uh, Mickey Mouse setup here with the vice grips, but it's temporary. You can see the wires coming through the wall. I basically just drilled it through the wall and used an old extension cord and just ran it in the lawn. And that goes up to the switch, and I'll show you how the pump works. This is how I utilize my rainwater. Turn the switch on. You might hear the pump just for a second it came on then you can just pull out whatever garden hose you need there you go that's how I use my rainwater 
and wash the cars and water the lawn. Fill up the fish pond if I need to. But that, I think, is more than enough pressure than I'm going to need. There's some other rain barrels I used to have. There you go. Pump's pretty quiet, you can barely hear it. The best part is, is when you release the trigger, the pump shuts off. So it's not consistently running. Come back on when you pull the trigger. There you have it. That's how it works. Shut the system off. It's good to go. Hopefully this is useful to you guys and uh, inspires you to make your own videos and, and somehow harvest your own rain water. There's my battery voltage after using the pump. The pump I think is about 10 amps per hour so it's a pretty heavy duty drain on the system but for those batteries it seems to be no problem. It'll charge right back up. <clears throat> okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions uh, or comments I'd love to hear them. Thanks, bye.